I got an interesting topic today. So, uh, yeah, like five days ago, one of my subs had tagged me in this video on TikTok. And like, it was him. And he had checked his girl phone, right? And it turns out that she was cheating on him. So of course I respond and uh, I get my little input on it and shit, but you know, I gotta bring this shit to YouTube, man. This shit's crazy. So uh, what it was is his caption was like, when you treat the girl good as fuck, just like your mama told you, but it turns out she was cheating. See, that's what a lot of niggas fuck up. Like a lot of niggas mamas give niggas, give their sons false hope on how to treat women. I'm not saying don't treat women good, but it's like, they don't put their sons on game about how women move. So then you got your son going out here simping, treating these bitches good with his guard down. But little do he know that some of these hoes ain't shit. Most of these hoes ain't shit. So it, it led to him getting, leading to uh, getting a heartbreak. My job I've been in his same, I've been in the same shoes before. Check the bitch phone. Bitch was fucking different niggas, it's cool. I've been there, bro. And, and then this video is just about checking phones. Now I'm gonna show y'all the TikTok video about what I'm talking about and how I responded to the video because I feel like y'all need this info. You feel me? So here it go right here. All right, rule number one is, look, you cannot listen to your mama on how to treat a woman because she's not gonna put you on game about these women. She's not gonna tell you how they play the games they play and why they play the games they play, because why? She's a woman, bro. Half the time, our mamas can't even find a good man to begin with. I'm just, I'm just being a hundred. And when they do find a good man, they push them away. Come on. And yeah, look, bro, look, I was in your shoes. I swear to God, some years ago, I was in your shoes. If you got any time invested into a woman, check that phone. I don't care who's saying it's lame. Look, bro, if I didn't check my ex phone, bro, I would still been with her till this day getting cheated on still three years later. I promise to God. Other dudes gonna say it's lame, bro. Check that phone, bro. You got any time invested? Check that phone. Because when she check your phone, it ain't gonna be lame. <laughs> she gonna check that motherfucker while you sleep. I'm telling you, bro. Check that phone. It ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm telling you, look, if you got any time invested into a woman, bro, check it. That's our number one form of communication, bro. People gonna say our mouth is, bro, our phones, bro. We talk more from our phones than in person. You want to really know who she is, bro? Check that phone. Bro, I swear to God, women can't live the truth. They'll take their deepest secrets to the grave. They'll tell you they're not cheating. Bro, my ex told me she put it on her dead grandma, bro. She put it on her special needs little sister that she was not cheating on my soul. Until I checked that phone. Next thing you know, she crying in the passenger seat on my mama. Bro, check it. Bro, check the phone. Hey, a lot of niggas will say, uh, checking phones is lame as fuck. Oh, it's... Oh, bro, you, you insecure, bro, and this lame nigga shit. But nigga, you got, if you got time invested into this bitch, man, you can check that motherfucker as many times as you want to. It don't even matter, nigga, like, because when she check your shit, she not insecure. She just trying to make sure. So it's like this, I look at it like this, my nigga. It's just like religion. Religion is based off belief. So you don't know shit, but you're believing it. So it's, nigga, it's either you want to believe this bitch is being loyal to you, or you want to know, nigga. I'm, I'm a knowing ass nigga. I want to know everything, nigga. I don't want to believe shit, nigga. I got to know, nigga. So it's a difference between believing and knowing. I'd rather know some shit than believing it. You feel me? So, nigga, it's just like we're getting money. It's like this, bro. Are you going to wait for a nigga to put money in your hands or are you going to go get your own money? You're not about to wait on shit. So, nigga, I'm going to go get, I'm going to get my answers. I'm going to know. So I'm going to go check that fucking phone, nigga. Yeah, y'all be thinking y'all too good and too bold. Y'all be... Man, y'all be thinking y'all too masculine, my nigga. Check that motherfucker phone, man. You want to know some shit, nigga? Go, go learn. You want to know? You want to know who that bitch is, man? Go check that motherfucking phone, man. Everything is in that motherfucker, man. Everything, bro. And it's like when you check their phone, bro. And it's like, and you and you catch them cheating. It's never their fault. Like they they never hold themselves accountable. That's what women women don't do that. They suck at holding themselves accountable. It's always an excuse, or it's always us like they play the blame game so like they, they'll tell you like got a camera cut out but like yeah like i was saying was they like to play the blame game and shit right they play the blame game and they try to put it on you on why they cheated you feel me so they say oh yeah it's your fault um 
You just never showed me any attention. You made me feel insecure. You you just never like gave me any attention. You were always too busy for me. You never took time out for me. And it's like this, it's like, damn, bitch, you really trying to play this blame game, but you not holding yourself accountable for shit you just did. You feel me? Like, it's my fault that you cheated on me. Bitch, you chose to do that. Cheating is a choice. Like, come on, now these bitches don't ever hold themselves accountable. Like, bitch, who do you take me for? Now, who, who the fuck do you take me for? Like, you, these bitches real life don't hold themselves accountable, bro, and it's getting disappointing. You feel me? Like, that shit's wild as fuck. Uh, and back to the, the checking phones thing. Like, nigga, I checked my ex phone, my second my second ever girlfriend phone, like, shit, 2018. It's 2022 now. So back then, nigga, if I never checked that phone, I would have still been with her to this day. If bro and that bitch never checked his girl phone, he would have never knew. He would have been happily in love, not knowing no, this bitch is cheating behind his back, fucking another nigga. You would never know. All the answers is in that girl phone, bro. I swear to God, like, you, bro, you got to check that motherfucker. It don't matter how you look. Motherfuckers say anything, nigga. I know I'm masculine. I know I get bitches, but it's like this, nigga. I'm not about to deal with you if I don't know what the fuck going on. So, of course, I'm going to check that phone. Real shit. Real shit. I'm going to drop through y'all. Hold on. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, like, y'all, like, like I was saying, though. Like, my nigga, you got time to list it, bro. Go ahead and check that motherfucker, man. Real shit, like. Do what you gotta do, man. Like, you really got time invested, but you obligated. I don't give a fuck what it is. She might hit you with the, oh, it's my phone, it's my privacy. All right, all right then, bitch. That's cool then, whatever. So what I want you to do is check it in anyway. If you don't know her password, just, just snatch, it at the, snatch it at the bitch hand. You feel me? Snatch out her hand, see how she react. If she, if she react in a negative way, trying to chase you around, hit on you, trying to get that motherfucker back by any means, nigga, she cheating. I don't give a fuck what you talking about, nigga, she cheating. <laughs> what the fuck? Cause bitch, what is you going so hard to get this phone back for? God damn, all these damn bones down here. But like I'm saying, like yeah, like if a bitch chasing you around, going hard to get that motherfucker back, man, she's cheating, man. Cheating hard as a motherfucker. Cause bitch, what is you hiding? And then like you gotta catch a bitch slipping too. Cause what, what most bitches try to do is they try to offer you the phone. Like they they delete all the shit out the phone, right? And they'll be like, oh yeah, I ain't got nothing to hide, baby. You wanna check my phone right now? Bitch, I'm not dumb. Bitch, you delete shit out of that motherfucker, man. You delete the shit already. Man, come on, man. Niggas ain't retarded. So you just gotta catch a bitch slipping, man. Oh, rip. That, that's my first tip right there. Man, Matt, moral of the story is, man, check that motherfucker phone, man. You, you'll feel better, man. It'll save you, it'll save you years of embarrassment. It'll save you so much time, man, and money. Also, and money. That's the most important part. But yeah, I'm gonna get up with y'all, man. Real shit.